previously on Balls. And on the phone, we're very happy to chat to, for the first time on Balls Radio, well, it's going to be a fairly emotional weekend for him, Vikas van Heerden. Hoe gaan het, Vikas? <laughs> very well, you, Darren. Very good. Nice to chat to you again, my friend. It's uh, It's been a long while and must be a, a really emotional weekend for you. Uh, it's been a while, but uh, no, all emotions have started... Uh, I had a good inning, so uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to the weekend. All right, what year did that inning start now? It was when? It started in 2000, 2001. 2000, yeah, we just had Richard Bands in here. He was reminiscing about when he bullock a sickle and die da. My Yeva say, you were still with the line. Who were you with in that early start? Was no, it? I, started, I started off uh, with the lines and stuff, and yeah. uh, then I was borrowed to the Bulls for the 2002, uh, yeah. no, the 2003 uh, super season and stuff. And that's when it but, all uh, that's when it all started turning around for them as well. Yes, yes, I think uh, we were the first actually bull side to win a overseas game, so yeah. it was an exciting time. And I mean that uh, and that bull side. I remember um, doing a couple of things with uh, with the side. That's kind of where the whole bull structure and, and you know the, the, the sort of background team and everyone uh, it really started uh, falling or going getting into place. It really took the whole union, not just from a player point of view, but basically gave the guys a structure that would make playing for the bull such a pleasure over the next few years. Yes, uh, I think Dainik <laughs> always joked about it. I think it was after it was for the third time uh, with the Bulls <laughs> and, uh, uh, the majority of players that was playing that year was the uh, guys that was uh, uh, formed basically the, the core of that Bulls side at, uh, at a very long success of running the Super Rugby yeah uh, was there ever a time that you did you ever uh, was there ever sharks in your in your history at some stage <laughs> well I did play right after school uh, for, for my first year out of school at that stage it weren't under 19 rugby it was straight out of, uh, into under 21 so my first year, I played in one for for the Sharks. <laughs> but never a senior game. I never a senior game. Okay, because I mean the the confusion comes because there was a Vickers van here and that also ended that, up playing. That, but uh, that, another. That's my uncle. Yeah, my uncle. Was that your uncle? Okay. So yeah, there you go. No, funny enough. <laughs> yeah. All right, and uh, your final game uh, coming up, and uh, it's against the Sharks as well. So. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish I wish it could have been a final game and stuff. Uh, Varushka, my wife, was joking and said. Uh, She's reading in the newspaper that I'm going to be running on against the Sharks and stuff. I said, well, if, uh, if they can afford my knees and doing that, but in this case, oh, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's going to be difficult running on the field. So it's my last game, but it's just going to basically going to be standing there on the sideline. Okay, so you just run out, but you're not, uh, there's no playing, uh, no, 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 not even benching. I, I really hope not. I hope not for the Lions <laughs> side. I can maybe do one or two big cleans, but that's it. Basically, the one in the, a couple of hits. And there we go. <laughs> just, just for old time's sake. Just for old time's sake. Just and a little bit of frustration that you build up uh, when you, as soon as you start finishing with rugby. Yeah, and, you, and people say, you know, you've, after such a long career that spanned more than a decade, and, uh, you know, you, you get sort of mixed feelings with uh, when, when it's your last appearance. Uh, but, I mean, it's, you know, you've achieved everything that you, you probably would have wanted to out of rugby. Yeah, no, for sure. I think the only frustrating thing for me is that you always visualize yourself seeing playing at last game. Mm. And we basically say, okay, well, that, that that's it. But, uh, yeah, for me, unfortunately, uh, it was 12 minutes against the Cheetahs in the opening round of the Super Rugby this year. But uh, I, I like to, to think back to the last game as my Curry Cup final last year. There we go. And, uh, yeah, I mean, how many Curry Cups have you won now? Uh, that's, that was my first. It was actually third time lucky. And if my first one was I lost against the Bulls in 2002, and then in 2007 uh, or 2008 we lost against the uh, Sharks uh, in a Bulls jersey. And Gee, this, so year, that, this year was actually, or last year was actually my first win, Curry Cup win. That's I would, I would have thought you had one with the Bulls as well. Gee, I didn't realise that. So one Curry no, Cup no, win, no. and that was with uh, your original side. Uh, when you sort of started with the Lions, obviously that was the aim, but I think when you went to the Bulls, did you ever think that your first Curry Cup would come playing for your original team? Uh, it's funny, something that I actually said when I came, as soon as I came back from the uh, my son abroad, and I said, uh, I always visualised, especially after the 2002 Curry Cup final that we lost against the Bulls, mm. I always visualised me winning a Curry Cup in a Lions jersey, so it was a very special last year winning it actually. Absolutely. We've just been chatting outside uh, with Richard about you know the the lines and just what's gone down this year and how difficult and awkward it is. I think from all sides with the new Super Rugby structure, just how you know how difficult it is for a side like the Kings to have to now go put a team together and do something in one year 
or they could be out again but how difficult it is for for the lions guys as well uh no, 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 to I'm be not. able to settle down and and plan for the future when you don't know what the future holds exactly no i think it's it's a very very sad situation this stage because i just feel a fair, fair thing would have been a relegation game at least mm. so for, for both sides i think uh the lines the lines are these players that supposed to be playing super rugby that's going to be out of the, the super rugby scene for for at least a year or a season and then uh for the Kings guys, it's uh, it's sad to know that they, well not sad, it's, it's difficult going to be to prove themselves in one year and then the end of the year play, play in a relegation game. So, yeah, it's a, it's a difficult thing. I, I don't know which we would have been a better option, but uh, this stage I'm just feeling very, very sorry for the guys at the Lions. Yeah, look, uh, one or the other would have been a better option, but the option they actually took, it doesn't suit either side. So, I mean, that's exactly. probably the worst no. scenario. No, well, yeah, even go the route of maybe join something, but at this stage, that relegation thing, it's uh, its giving, it, it, it's sort of hanging, uh, and you, you saw the note with the Lions this season, I think uh, having having that thing hang, hanging over your head, mm. play, playing throughout the season, hanging, if you ended last year, it's your last Super Rugby campaign. Yeah. What was the uh, what was the moment you remember and cherish the most out of your career, Vickers? Uh, there's a couple. Uh, well, I must say, uh, it's a very big highlight for me was the 2007 Super Rugby final mm. that we won there in Devon in the last couple of minutes. And then uh, that's not uh, one of mine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought I'd mention it, but, but, uh, yeah. but uh, then I must say, last year, last year was also very special. Yeah, no, it was. I mean, that was because it was completely unexpected, you know, and it. Uh, and it was just a whole team dynamic, you guys. You almost got to a point where you think, is anyone actually going to be able to beat these guys? And and it it was so it was so strange when you saw that. You thought, okay, you know, Super Rugby going to be a, a much better proposition for the guys this year. Sure. What was the big I difference? I mean, what? I, we... I think there's a lot of factors that brought brought that. And uh, the thing is that the unforeseen thing was just the injuries. Uh, mm. To lose that amount of starting players and it's starting 15, uh, just immediately you went back to your second string, which, which is not an excuse because uh, any union that wants to compete in a Super Rugby needs to have a good solid uh, sort of uh, system and uh, squad. But um, yeah, that, that was something that cost us in the beginning. And uh, it's funny, uh, rugby is a very confident ga- uh, confidence sort of game. If you've got confidence, you get us one or two close wins, uh, things just to sort of work out in the end of the day. Yeah. Yes, and, and, Johnny. Uh, Vickers, uh, not forgetting the fact that you played 21 matches for Saracens. That was also a great experience there in England. I just wanted to ask you as well how, how, your, how your dad's doing, uh, Mona. <laughs> that old man is still, still, still himself. Uh, yes. All his mates will still say uh, he's, he's got a, that, that little bit of a... A uh, young man still in him. Uh, yes. <laughs> sometimes, uh, as a granddad, uh, I sometimes tell him uh, slow down. But uh, yeah, no, he's he's still up to his. Uh uh, things. Awesome, awesome. Up to his tricks. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a great, there's a great tradition in South African rugby of the fun here. And so, have you got a, have you got a little one that's coming through somewhere? Uh, I've got two boys. That's there we go. Years, but uh, I've, I've tried to learn him to kick and pass so they can play in the back line. But uh, what? Every time, all, all, I actually actually thought of even going in different groups, maybe cricket or rugby or tennis. I uh, golf or tennis, and uh, as soon as I give them a ball, they go. Uh, Crouch, hold, engage. So <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't, I don't think that was going to work, and uh, most probably are going to end up in the fort as well. So that's that, that's something I don't know. Uh, no, I need, I need, I need Wait and see. <laughs> yeah, well, these are they're So obviously, I mean, they're going to go in amongst the forge. You're trying to change a change a long, long tradition. Yeah, don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's just going to be easier on, on me and their mum. Yeah, no, yes. I can imagine. Now, listen, what what lies in store? What are you? What else are you up to? What are you going to be doing with yourself? Um, oh yeah, have you got any other stuff that you're busy with at the moment, work wise well, or projects? I'll be honest, Darren. At this stage, uh, I think uh, with the whole. Uh, insurance part of uh, the contract insurance that I had I wasn't really allowed to get too much involved in anything mm. so uh, yeah no, the, the, the <laughs> I'm looking at all, all sort of opportunities uh, I've been a little bit involved in uh, some mining activities and stuff but uh, I don't know uh, at this stage it's, it's the start of a new beginning and I just uh, 
a new new chapter in the in the last. Well, you've had a nice long career. Maybe just a bit of time to put your feet up. Maybe do a bit of. I don't, I don't suppose rugby players want to start travelling after they've finished rugby, where they've been travelling every bloody year for how many years? But uh, maybe just some rest and relaxation, and just uh, yeah, just time to take take it all in, and uh, and not have to wake up and do bleep tests and all those kind of things. Must be a, must be a pleasure in itself. Well, I'm sitting here on a Friday afternoon at uh, okay, you would know better. It's a Papacino, so it's a family restaurant. Yeah. Uh, the kids are playing and uh, I've got a beer and a pizza in front of me so yeah. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> beer, enjoying it. there we go that's the way they do it because it's, it's lucky to have weekends uh, for one and uh, yeah that's, that's still something to get used to all right. Well, listen. I hope you get a, a really, really good uh, send off tomorrow. Even if you're not going to be actually actively playing, but uh, going to run out in front of the guys and give you a good farewell as well. And uh, congratulations and well done on the contribution you made to South African rugby. As you say, it's a long tradition of Van Heerdens, and you've kept it going with pride, uh, and you've done the country proud as well with your rugby. So uh, congratulations and enjoy your whatever it is, and good luck with whatever it is you do in the future. Thank you very much, Darren. Thanks to you and John for all the support, and yeah, yeah, always just, just uh, lighting up the positive side of uh, of the game. Awesome Thank you very stuff. Much, all the best, Vickers. Cheers, man. Yeah. Bye, bye, bye. Here we go, Vickers van Heerden.